Good morning, everybody, on this very bright and sunny morning. Welcome to our patio. We'll start morning prayer in about four minutes. Just fascinating the way the pond is just covered up with pollen. It's just like mm -hmm. this still sheet of yellow. It is, yeah. Hope everyone's well today. We will start morning prayer in about three minutes. It's a pretty day, but fairly humid, so I think it's going to be a warm one. Doing nasty things to my hair this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Tricia. We'll get started in about two minutes. And Miss Amanda. And Kim. Good morning, Kim. chime in here yeah, and there. <laughs> hopefully. And so far across our fingers, no uh, lawn maintenance nearby. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. If I forget, you might need to do it. Okay. Morning prayer in about a minute. We hope everybody awoke, rested, and ready to go into this new day. <laughs> Morning, Kay. Welcome, everybody. Looks like it's going to be a pretty one. Ah, now the birds and the lawn maintenance starting at the same time. <laughs> That's okay. It's just part of a Wednesday routine. <laughs> Looks like eight o'clock. So why don't we begin morning prayer on the patio. Welcome to our home. Thanks for coming to be with us today. I think all of you know us, so we won't go through the whole introduction routine. Um, the only announcement is to be sure to remember the day of service on Saturday. And all of the details are in the email from Lisa Farrell. And I believe they're also on the Epiphany website if you'd like to learn more about those opportunities. And that is on Saturday. Saturday the 29th. Right. That's okay. Oh, you did? It's okay. <laughs> Welcome to the patio, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the patio. Page 78. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. On page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful, merciful God, God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, thought word, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We, we are truly sorry and we humbly repent. repent. 
for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. On page 82, at the bottom, we will say together the Jubilate. Be joyful, joyful in, in the Lord, Lord, all you lands. Serve, serve the Lord with gladness, and, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalm for today is Psalm 119, verses 1 through 24. It begins on page 763 of your Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> Happy are they whose way is blameless, <coughs> who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees and seek him with all their hearts. Who never do any wrong, but always walk in his ways. You lay down your commandments that we should fully keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. That I should not be put to shame when I regard all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By keeping to your words. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commandments. I treasure your promise in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Instruct me in your statutes. With my lips will I recite all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your decrees than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and give attention to your ways. My delight is in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servants that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see the wonders of your law. I am a stranger here on earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times with longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the insolent. Cursed are they who stray from your commandments. <clears throat> turn, me, turn from me shame and rebuke, for I have kept your decrees. Even though rulers sit and plot against me, I will meditate on your statutes. For your decrees are my delight, and they are my counselors. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, As it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of Job. The book of Job in the NRSV, <laughs> chapter 6, verse 1, and then chapter 7, verses 1 through 21. Then Job answered, Do not human beings have a hard service on earth, and are not their days like the days of a laborer, like a slave who longs for the shadow, and like laborers who look for their wages? So I am allotted months of emptiness, and nights of misery are apportioned to me. When I lay down, I say, When shall I rise? But the night is long, and I am full of tossing until dawn. My flesh is clothed with worms and dirt. My skin hardens and breaks out again. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle and come to their end without hope. Remember that my life is as a breath. My eye will never again see good. The eye that beholds me will see me no more. While your eyes are upon me, I shall be gone. As the cloud fades and vanishes, so those who go down to Sheol do not come up. 
They return no more to their homes, nor do their places know them anymore. Therefore I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Am I the sea or the dragon that you set a guard over me? When I say, my bed will comfort me, my couch will ease my complaint. Then you scare me with dreams and terrify me with visions, so that I would choose strangling and death rather than this body. I loathe my life. I would not live forever. Let me alone, for my days are a breath. Why are human beings that you make, what are human beings that you make so much of them that you set your mind on them? Visit them every morning, test them every moment. Will you not look away from me for a while? Let me alone until I swallow my spittle? If I sin, what do I do to you, you watcher of humanity? Why have you made me your target? Why have I become a burden to you? Why do you not pardon my transgression and take away my iniquity? For now I shall lie in the earth. You will seek me, but I shall not be. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we'll read together Canticle 10 on page 86, the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Acts 10, 1 through 16. In Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of the Italian cohort, as it was called. He was a devout man who feared God with all his household. <coughs> he gave alms generously to the people and prayed constantly to God. One afternoon at about three o'clock, he had a vision in which he clearly saw an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. He stared at him in terror and said, what is it, Lord? He answered, your prayers and your alms have ascended as a memorial before God. Now send men to Joppa for a certain Simon who is called Peter. He is lodging with Simon a tanner whose house is by the seaside. When the angel who spoke to him had left, he called two of his slaves and a devout soldier from the ranks of those who served him. And after telling them everything, he sent them to Joppa. About noon the next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat, and while it was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw the heaven opened and something like a large sheet coming down, being lowered to the ground by its four corners. In it were all kinds of four-footed creatures and reptiles and birds of the air. Then he heard a voice saying, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, By no means, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is profane or unclean. The voice said to him again a second time, What God has made clean, you must not call profane. This happened three times, and the thing was suddenly taken up to heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we will read together Canticle 11 on page 87. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. 
For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we move to uh, our portion of the Gospel. This is the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 7, verses 1 through 13. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of Booth was near. So his brothers said to him, Leave here and go to Judea so that your disciples also may see the works you are doing. For no one who wants to be widely known acts in secret. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For even his brothers believed in him. For not even his brothers believed in him. Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify against it that its works are evil. Go to the festival yourselves. I am not going to this festival, for my time has not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, but as it were in secret. The Jews were looking for him at the festival and saying, Where is he? And there was considerable complaining about him among the crowd. While some were saying, he is a good man, others were saying, no, he is deceiving the crowd. Yet no one would speak openly about him for the fear of the Jews. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On page 96, we will now say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again and judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the communion of the Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I think the owls and the other birds were praying with us too. I think so. <laughs> um, if you would like to put in any prayer requests in the comments now, we'll get to those momentarily. <clears throat> I'm on page 98. Um, we will do suffrage B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. On page 99, 
O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Then, uh-oh, I lost my marker. What page is that? On page 823. Bear with me. <laughs> yes, 824, sorry. Prayer number 28. In times of conflict. Oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And then would you do this one? Back on 823, prayer number 27. <clears throat> For social justice, grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of people in this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, Suspicions disappear and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And back on page 100. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our prayers and supplications which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, sing with us, please. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to sing hymn number 516-516, which I didn't mark. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing verses uh, 1, 2, and 3, all three verses. Can you take us a note? No. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come down, O Lord, divine, seek thou this soul of mine, and visit it with thine own heart of her glowing. O Comforter, draw near, within my heart appear. And kindle it thy holy flame bestowing. O let it freely burn till earthly passions turn to dust and ashes in its heat consuming. And let thy glorious light shine ever on my sight, and clothe me round the while my path illuming. And so the yearning strong with which the soul will long shall far outpass the power of human telling. For none can guess its grace till love create a place where in the Holy Spirit makes a dwelling. Okay. 
none of y'all out there have perfect pitch. I think we might have wandered a bit, but it was joyful. <laughs> I think we might have wandered a lot. <laughs> but it was an offering. It was an offering. All right. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you for your presence in our midst on this warm and beautiful Wednesday morning. Thank you for every member here present today and for every member of our congregation, for our clergy and staff, and for all those who are working in your name to make a difference. Please bless those who are ill with COVID-19 or other diseases. Bless our frontline workers and all those who are working for change. Be with us in this time of change and confusion. Be in our political system and help us to make wise choices and to love one another even where we differ. We pray for all those who are um, unemployed or struggling with economic difficulties due to the pandemic and um, economic downturn. We ask that you bless them and guide them with your Holy Spirit surrounding them with your love, particularly for today for Kathleen and for Christian. We also ask your special blessing on Kathleen as she moves back home with us and your blessing on us as well to, as one of our friends said, love on her all we can and to be patient with one another um, in this change in our family dynamics. Um, what else? You wanted to pray something. I want to ask special uh, prayers for those in the path of Hurricane Laura as, uh, as, they, as it starts to get ready to make landfall. For all those enduring weather difficulties, whether it's the heat and the fires uh, out west, whether it's the heat and humidity here, or the life-threatening situations uh, with the hurricanes coming in off the Gulf. Just be with them, be with those who respond to their needs, uh, and look after and bless and protect those. Uh, affected uh, by the storms and the weather. And now let's see what we have here. That's it. Thanksgiving for technology. We're glad Kay could listen on her way to work. <laughs> Safe travels for the Lees and Bonnie Manley traveling to Florida at the end of the week. for Father Ray Ball having some tests done and for all the other prayer requests that may come up today. And I want you to know that we are praying for the list that goes out every week. Um, we are and lots of other people are. So thank you for your participation in that. <laughs> we'll continue on page 101 with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. 
Amen. Hope you all have a wonderful day and enjoy this sunshine and the bird song. That's right. Happy Wednesday. We love you guys. Be good to yourselves and one another. Bye. Bye-bye.